Hello everyone. In today's session, I am explaining how to draw a reactance, perinate reactance diagram from a one-line diagram. So this is very important for solving the problems in module one. So now, before going for the procedure, I'll just consider one example as a one-line diagram. Consider one uh, one-line diagram here. So here, one generator is there that is connected to the bus bar, and that is connected to one step up transformer consider this is a t1 and we have a transmission line is there that is running between transformer t1 to transformer t2 and the transformer t2 is a step down transformer because primary is having more number of turns secondary is having less number of turns and this has been connected to again one more bus bar and here we have a two motors are there m1 and m2 so this is a sample one line diagram so here i'll tell you what are the steps are there in order to convert this one line diagram into a reactance diagram so the very first step the step 1 step 1 is choosing a base power that is kva base or mvf base for the entire system the first step is choosing base power that is mva base or kva base for the entire system so this is step 1 so in the step 1 i once you choose mva value and the kva or the kva value means so this will remains the same for throughout the problems so or you can consider this as mva base new also or kva base new also so this is step 1 choosing a base power or the base voltage kva for the entire system so next moving on to the step 2 so step 2 is nothing but so here you have to calculate base voltage for one section of the power system so here step 2 is calculation of base voltage it is so for the calculation of base voltage that is the kilovolt base nu only for the selected components in the single line diagram you are going to calculate the base voltage kilovolt base so what are the components you are going to calculate means you are going to calculate for the generator for the transmission line then motor suppose if load is there means for the load also you are going to calculate the base voltage only for these four components you will be calculating the base voltage before going for the formula first we need to differentiate so which are coming on high voltage section and which and all are coming on the lt section so now for that you consider so in the this is the single line diagram as i have shown you in the single line diagram consider i am rewriting once again so this is the transformer t1 and this is the transformer t2 connected to two motors m1 and m2 so suppose the generated voltage is 11 kV that is given to transformer t1 means same voltage will be given to the primary winding so since it is a step up transformer the input 11 kV to the primary side will be increased to for example 220 kV so this 220 kV will be going through a transmission line to the second transformer so the primary will be receiving 220 kV with the help of a transmission line since a transformer t2 is a step down transformer so we can uh, reduce this voltage this transformer t2 will reduce a 220 kV to 66 or 11 kV we'll consider 11 kV only so this 11 kV will be going to the both the motors m1 and m2 so now with this voltage differentiation we'll now classify what are the components which are coming on the lt section or low tension section or low voltage section similarly high tension or high voltage section so now observe here the generator which is having a low voltage similarly the motor is also having low voltage only the high voltage will be present on the transmission line so very important thing always remember ht section or high voltage section will be the transmission line section only remaining low voltage section will be the motor and the generator so now i'll write here the generator lt section or 
LV section also we can consider. So in this LT section, the generator, motor, suppose if the load is coming means that is also will be comes on LT section only. And HT section means only the transmission line. So I'll write in short form, only the transmission line will comes in the HT section. This is very, very important differentiation between the LT and HT section. So now, based on this, we'll write the formula for LT section as well as for the HT section. So now we have a separate formula for the kilovolt base calculation, new on LT section. LT section means, remember, it is only the generator, motor and the load it is. Suppose the load is given in your single line diagram. So the formula for kilovolt base new on LT section is kilovolt base on LT section, HT section. HT means high tension section. Always it will be the transmission line only multiplied by LT voltage rating divided by HT voltage rating. So kilovolt base on HT, HT is nothing but always will be the transmission line. So what is this LT by HT voltage rating means so this is the rating of the transformer. So always this will be the rating of the transformer. So now similarly we will write the formula for kilovolt base nu on HT section. So just the reverse opposite of this formula kilovolt base on LT section. LT section means it may be the generator side or it may be the motor or on the load side. Any of this can be considered as a LT section multiplied by opposite to this HT voltage rating divided by LT voltage rating. So even here also HT by LT rating is nothing but the transformer rating. So since in your single line diagram it may be T1 or it may be T2. So this is step 2. So in the step 2 you are going to calculate the base voltage for the generator, transmission line, motor and the load. So next the step 3. Step 3 is calculation of the perinit reactance for the transmission line it is. So for the transmission line you are going to calculate the perinit reactance. Calculation of perinit reactance for transmission line. We have a one particular formula for the calculation of per unit reactance for the transmission line that is X per unit will be equal to X in ohm multiplied by MVA base nu divided by kilovolt base square nu of the transmission line only. So remember this formula. So whenever you need to calculate or convert the ohmic value of the transmission line into per unit means you will be using this formula because the reactance of the transmission line in the single line diagram is always represented in terms of ohms only. So for converting ohms into per unit this is a one common formula. And moving on to the next step that is step 4. So here you are going to calculate per unit reactance for all the components in your single line diagram. So next is calculation of per unit reactance for all the components. So observe in your single line diagram we have a generator is there, transformer 1 and 2 is there and motor M1 and M2 is there. So for all these components, we can convert into a per unit in the step 4. So we have a one common formula for converting or calculating into a per unit reactance for all these components that is X per unit nu 
that is equal to x per unit old multiplied by MVA base new divided by MVA base old multiplied by kilo volt base square new divided by kilo volt base square sorry this is old kilo volt base square old by kilo volt base square new so this is the one common formula for the calculation of per unit reactance for all the components what and all the components you'll be using this means for the generator whatever may be the generator how many number of generators are present for all the generator you will be using this common formula next the motors then for the transformers so for all these parameters you are going to convert into per unit by using this formula so this completes step 4 next moving on to the last step that is step 5 so in the step 5 the given single line diagram all the reactances are already converted into a per unit so after converting into per unit finally you are going to represent this one line diagram into a reactance diagram so the last step is drawing per unit reactance diagram from a one line diagram it is So this completes the procedure for drawing the per unit reactance from a one line diagram. So I'll just repeat once again, observe in the step one, we need to choose a base power for the entire system and it will remain the same. That means wherever MVA base new comes in the formula, so we have to use the step one value only. MVA base new means that will be the step one value only. Next step 2 is calculation of base voltage that is kilovolt base nu. So in the step 2 you are going to calculate base voltage only for these 4 components that is generator, transmission line, motor. If suppose a load is mentioned means for the load also we are going to calculate base voltage in step 2 only. So before calculation of before writing the formula for all this first we have to differentiate which are coming on the LT section or a low tension section and which are coming on the HT section. So remember always the transmission line will be on a HT section. So that is why I have written HT section is nothing but transmission line section it is. Then the remaining components it may be the generator, the motor and the load it is all coming on the LT section because you have seen in one example only the transmission line is carrying a maximum voltage of 220. The remaining generator, motor, if suppose the load is there means that is also connected here only. That is also will be having a voltage of 11 kilovolt. So these three will be having only a low voltage. Only the transmission line is having a high voltage. So that is why HT is transmission line, LT means it is generator, motor and a load it is. So now based on this, we'll write a separate base voltage formula for the LT and HT section. So kilovolt base nu on LT section, that is equal to kilovolt base on HT section. HT means you need to remember it is the transmission line only. Multiplied by LT rating by HT voltage rating, that is nothing but transformer. So either it may be T1 transformer or T2 transformer, okay. Next, kilovolt base nu on HT section. HT section that is equal to kilovolt base nu on LT section. LT means it may be generator or a motor or load it is. So any one we can consider. I'll just tell you while doing the problem how to use uh, uh, these components, the base voltage values. Next, HT voltage rating divided by LT voltage rating. Again, this is the transformer rating only. So this completes step 2. Next moving on to step 3. So this is conversion of the ohmic value of the transmission line reactance into per unit test. So this is one common formula for converting ohms into per unit test. And after that we are going to calculate per unit reactance for all the components given in the single line diagram. So this is also a common formula for calculation of per unit 
reactants for a generator, motor, and the transformer it is. And finally, we are going to draw the per unit reactance diagram from a one line diagram. Thank you.